Today I want to look into the page layout settings of MuseScore. So I will right click the page and click on style and then go on page. Now let's actually start at the top. The music top margin. Let's put this down here. As you increase the value you can see that the space between your page margin and your top stave is increased. But note that this only works for the following pages and not for the first page. Now this is because this frame for some reason plays out um, this setting. So if you want to increase the gap between your title text frame and your very first stave, all you would have to do is select the text frame and then increase what it's called bottom gap. All right, now let's go back to style and page. The music bottom margin is the same as the top margin just at the bottom. I don't need to explain that. So in this video, uh, I won't talk about these, but I will now talk about these. We have system, we have stave, we have great stave. So uh, first we want to make sure that we know what these words mean. The individual parts are called staves. These two staves which belong to one player, the piano player, are called a great stave. And then all staves that sound together um, are called a system. Now knowing that um, helps us to easier understand what's going on here. The minimum system distance is the minimum distance between systems. These are systems. It's the distance between those systems. As I increase the value, you can see that the systems in itself um, stay narrow, but the distance between the system is increased or decreased. All right, let's put this back to eight. The minimum stave distance, on the other hand, is the minimum distance between the single staves. You can see as I increase this value, there is more air between the staves, whereas the distance between the systems stay, stays the same. All right. Now, the maximum page fill distance here, it gets a bit um, hard to understand, but it is a very cool feature. What this allows is systems or the distance between systems and or the distance between staves to be stretched in order for your music to fill out the whole page. Now, you will see that as I increase this value, nothing is happening. And this is because you can actually allow the stretching individually for systems and staves. So watch this. If I only want the distance between systems to be stretched, I would increase the maximum system distance. See, as I increase the value, the system in itself stays narrow, but the distance between the systems is going to be stretched to fill out the page. So if you would increase this to a very high value, um, in fact, it will, it will always stretch um, the distance between the systems to fill out the whole page. Let's put this back to zero and increase this value. If I increase the maximum stave distance, now these distances are going to be stretched to fill out the page, whereas 
the distance between the systems will stay the same. Look at that. All right. Same goes for the grades, Dave. You can just say, I only want the distance between the staves of a great stave to be stretched. Now you can see that only this distance is going to be stretched. Now I usually um, keep the maximum stave distance at a low value and the maximum system distance at a higher value so that the systems in their self um, stay narrow but um, the distance between systems is increased so that the music fills out the page but keep in mind that all those values maximum system distance maximum stave distance maximum grade stave distance only take effect if you allow the maximum page full distance to increase like if i would decrease this um, this doesn't have any effect you see i can make this to to any value it, it doesn't have any effect um, until you increase the overall stretching okay i hope i could make this clear let's um, have a look here um, this is basically just a simplified version where you have less options i can skip this and let's look into vertical frame top margin this is if you have a f frames for example i can just let's see add a vertical frame see now we have a vertical frame added right click the page go back to style page and now i'm gonna decrease the value and you can see that this gap is going to be decreased same goes for the bottom like so now even if you set this to zero you could still select the frame and then increase the gap from here just so that you know but I'm gonna reset this as it was the last system fill threshold this is a, a rather simple setting watch this last system it's basically just a threshold and at a certain point the system will just stretch to fill um, the page with regard to the width all right one last side note one good thing to know let me just delete this frame no matter how narrow you're gonna set up um, your score MuseScore will always make sure that things won't collide you see if i drag a note up there's this um, automatic spacing which is just amazing and uh, this not only works within a system but also between systems you see that maybe one last tip if you go to style and score you can even define the minimum distance for that anti-collision um, behavior so let's say let's put this to two and now as i increase a note you see you see that there is more of a gap let's go back to style make this maybe you can see that's so good things just change as you 
you can you can just see what's happening so i like to i like to set this to one that looks that looks cool all right i hope i could make things clear it is a bit overwhelming at first sight but you get a lot of control and um it's really it's pretty smart just keep in mind to know what these terms mean the difference between staves and systems and um, then you'll get your way around this thanks for watching and goodbye